Actually, let's stop right there because I'm planning on doing something that is going to help you guys even more than just this YouTube video. If you want to, you can send me a DM to my Twitter or to my Instagram. Both are in the description, just so you know. Um, and if you want to play me, you can send me a DM on one of those two platforms and I will play you. You can also send me some of your videos and I will... I will look at them and then if you want, I can give you some pointers on how to get better. Now, I'm not the best player in the world, but I sort of understand where the game is, how people can improve, what types of mistakes people make. I understand what I'm that I make mistakes as well and I learn to, um, I try to learn from them and get better. I want to help you guys with that. If you want also, you can send me um, whatever offense you're in and I'll get you a mini scheme if you don't already have that. That's just something that I want to, uh, to do for you guys. Because you've been actually, you've really been killing it this year. I mean, I've been, I've done this YouTube channel since, uh, for about, let's say, seven months. And you guys have been here. I'm already at about 600 subs, and I really appreciate you guys for that. Um, that's it. Let's get back to the regularly scheduled program. Let's first start with the brief rundown of salary cap. Salary cap is like mud, but you also, but you only can have a certain quality of team. Now, let's actually look at my salary cap team and I will sort of explain how the mode works from that. Um, you can craft separate salary cap lineups by going to change active lineup. Once you're on this screen, go to change active lineup, press X. And then you can click L1. Press L1 rather, you don't click on uh, PS4. And then you can switch over to the salary cap lineups. And then right here, I have a couple of, uh, of ones that I use. I'm currently using the one that Pavan is using. I tried to do my own, but I didn't really like it. I felt like I was overva uh, overvaluing certain positions and I couldn't really get the right mix. So I'm using Pavin's team now. Whenever uh, you're doing a salary cap team, you have to know how much cap you have at your disposal. This lady in the year, it's 1,325. And each of these players you can see has, let's actually compare them right here. Boom. You can see in the upper left corner has a number. Michael Vick, without any um, abilities, is worth 132 cap. Now, considering that you only have 1,325 uh, cap at your disposal, just Michael Vick takes up 10% of my cap. In general, let's just put it simply, you can not um, have a team worth of with players that are worth more than than the current cap given. Now, that means that you have to make sacrifices. You can't have a 99 overall team because that would be way too expensive. How do you know which players to choose? That's what, I'm, that's what we're going to talk about now. Here are the five main points um, for crafting a good salary cap team. Let's get into it. Is it a heavy running game? Is it a heavy passing game? Is it on defense a lot of blitzing or is coverage really good? Stuff like that is very important to know because you obviously have to fit your team around what's good in the game. You might know that early in the year, the run was really, really powerful. Not just in Man Ultimate Team, if you were playing salary cap at that time, it was a pain in the ass to stop. It was so tough. Now, that's why a lot of people won by just running the ball. That is important to know. Because it, it really makes it difficult on it. You really make it difficult on yourself so if you're trying to pass the ball when you can just run, stretch and dive all up and down the field and win games. It is important to know how the game plays. Because if the game is more defensive focused, like it was this year for... Uh, large part of the game you obviously want to invest in defense you want to invest in what's good in the game you don't want to invest in a good in a good uh, passing game if you can just run the ball that would just make it harder on yourself that's it for point one let's get into point number two know your scheme I know this sounds very obvious to, to you people that have played salary cap before I know I know don't come at me well these are garbage tips yeah I mean is is the most important thing now it is important to know uh, what scheme you're running and to know which players you need for it. For example, if I'm trying to run the ball all the time, it doesn't make sense for me to have this Michael Vick because I don't need him. I just need a quarterback that can hand the ball off and that's pretty much any quarterback. I need players to fit my scheme. How do I know which players work for my scheme? That's going to be the next point. Know which stats are important. There are some stats in the game that matter way more than others. For example, speed is one of those that matters a whole lot. What is the difference between uh, Stefan Gilmore and Tracy Porter? Well, they look pretty similar. They are sort of the same overall. They have very similar salary cap values. But when you look at their actual stats, they are quite different. Stefan Gilmore is a very physical corner. He's good at pressing. He's good at man coverage. But he's not that fast. Now, Tracy Porter, on the other hand, 
He's not that great at pressing. He's also he's decent at man, in man coverage, but he's really quick. 96 speed. I can get plus two boost if I get maxed out sprinter or brawler or whichever chemistry you want to go with. And John Madden coach, I can get him to 99 speed. Now 99 speed is the best speed you can get. He plays way better than Stephon Gilmore, despite their very similar cap values. I would choose Tracy Porter 99 out of 100 times. The only time where I would not choose him is if I'm running a very man-heavy scheme and I need someone who's great in man coverage. Don't want to spend for, a, for an offensive lineman that has 99 strength and let's say 70 pass blocking or 70 run blocking. Because strength doesn't play that much and run blocking and pass blocking is pretty much any everything. Uh, for offensive lineman. Speed is the most important thing for wide receivers, for running backs, for quarterbacks, for what well, I'm gonna say tight ends, for safeties, for linebackers, sometimes for D linemen as well. Speed is very important as if you play Madden, if you have played Madden for any uh, extended period of time, you will know that. That's enough for point three. Let's get into point four. Evaluate players based on that criteria. Now, what criteria are we talking about? Knowing which stats are important. I already said this. I wouldn't get Stefan Gilmore because he's not quick enough. He has good stats. Overall, it's pretty decent. But it's not good for a salary cap team because you can't have everything. Stefan Gilmore is a pretty good overall cornerback. But I don't need pretty good overall cornerbacks. I need cornerbacks that are quick, that are fast, that can keep up with receivers, and are cheap in cap. Now, Crazy Porter is the ideal mutt. Uh, mut yeah. He's pretty much one of the, he's pretty much the ideal salary cap cornerback. Another cornerback that's really good that I'm gonna show you in a second. Actually, I can show you, uh, him to you right here. Marshawn Lattimore, also really good. Dante Jackson, he has 95 speed. I can get up to 98 speed. He has 54 cap. That is way better than Stephon Gilmore. In general, we want to have fast players, and if they are not good at catching, for example, we want to put abilities on them. Same goes, of course, uh, for the offensive side of the ball. I have got very quick receivers. Now, they're not the best receivers. Let me show it to you, let me show it to you what I mean. John Ross, he's not the best wide receiver, but he, get, he gets 99 speed. He gets 99 speed, so that is why he is on my team. Another wide receiver, great wide receiver, Julio Jones. 108 cap, are you kidding me? No, way too expensive. Randy Moss, uh -uh, way too expensive. He's also way too expensive. This guy right here, now we are talking, now we are talking, 50 cap, he's got 96 speed, plus 2 speed for maxed out sprinter, and plus 1 speed for John Madden, that's 99 speed for you, at 50 cap, are you kidding me, that's, that's a bargain boys, that's, that is really cheap, now let's talk about abilities, because abilities are very important, I have post specialists, because posts are really important, and cross specialists, why do I have that, because I'm gonna have John Ross on posts, and crossers, I'm not gonna have him on anything else. I'm not gonna have him on anything else. So he has pretty much pretty much has 99 catching, 99 catching traffic whenever he's on one of those post routes or uh, crossing routes. They will make John Ross hang on to everything. Tory Holt, he has post flag elites. What, what else does he have? I don't have it on. Uh, okay. Playmaker, post flag elites, slotomatic. Slotomatic makes him catch pretty much anything. If he's in a slot, he's gonna catch almost everything. Very similar to post flag elite. Only if he, if I have him on a drag, I playmaker him up, I throw it, he catches it with two feet on it, on, on the ground. He's gonna catch it 100% of the time. Now that is so glitchy. Playmaker also a great chemistry. Rod Apprentice, you guys don't know what that means. Wherever he's on the field, if he's at a running back position, if he's, if he's at the outside wide receiver position, if he's, at, if he's at the tight end position, if he's in the if he's in the slot, whatever the case may be, he gets four extra hot routes now. That is not worth 65 cap because the only good hot routes you can get for a wide receiver are slot apprentice. So where, where are we at with, this, with the slot? Slot apprentice, there we go. Slot apprentice is the only one that's worth it. And I have hot route master already on Michael Vick. So it doesn't make sense for me to get any of these abilities. Even though they look cool, doesn't make sense. So that's why you also have to value um, abilities. Now I have... My perfect Michael Vick for salary cap. Now I'm getting off topic. No, which stats are important. Catching is not that important on wide receivers because you can put abilities on them. These kinds of things you can kind of you can kind of cheat the cap a little bit. Cheap speed is very good. Let's get into the fifth and final point. So I I, I went on rambling right there, but I just wanted uh, to get it out of my system. Don't invest in stats that don't mean anything. To illustrate this last point, 
it is important to compare wide receivers to one another because Julio Jones, he can get to 99 speed. The main difference between Josh Cripps and Julio Jones is not the speed, it's everything else. It's the catching, it's the catching traffic, it is the route running, it's everything like that. Now, that is not as important as speed, however. So, I'm not going to spend 58 cap more than I have to if all that I get is a couple of stats higher than on Josh Cripps. Now, why is that... Why do I not care about if, th if stats are at 99 or whether they, they're at, let's say, 86 for deep route running? Because there are thresholds in this game. That means that once a player surpasses a certain rating, he's not going to get better even if he has 99. So, for example, juking or spinning, I think, threshold in Madden Ultimate Team if you play Weekend League or Seasons, is at 88. Now, 99 spin is not any better than 88 spin from the animation. So that is why it doesn't make sense to invest in somebody in, if you play salary cap that has 99 spin if you can get someone at 88 spin for cheaper or 82 I think it is in salary cap. So that is why it's important to know which stats are important and put that in relation to salary cap because I'm not going to pay 108 cap just to get a 99 speed wide receiver. It's just not going to happen. I did a salary cap team myself. It's not as good as this one. This is Pavin's team, not gonna put that out there, it's not my team. I had a much harder time putting defense together. And of course, it is a lot of trial and error. You might find out that a certain ability you put on a wide receiver isn't playing as well as you'd want it to. So it's not worth it for you to keep using that ability. It might just be worth it to, subs uh, to change it. So it's a lot of trial and error, it's a lot of changing certain things. <sighs> well, I went on rambling right there at the end, I'm sorry about that. If you enjoyed the video, let me know by hitting the like. Why <laughs> Let me know by hitting the like button, uh, and also subscribe to the channel. Gonna do a couple of Saturday recap gameplays in the future. Hope you're ready for that. Till then, see you. Peace out. Talk to you later.